Welcome back. Let's play some more 10 minute games on Shogi Wars. Uh, I think I might again attempt a similar thing to what I was trying last time, but maybe play a little more accurately today. Let's we'll see how. Good luck. Oh. Alright. Well, I don't feel like playing Central File versus Central File again. We're going to play this differently today. So our opponent is going to build half Beano Castle. They move up this silver, and we're gonna do something similar here. So it's a pretty dicey position, or it's like it's. It's at least exciting, and it's got me nervous. Um, so, yeah, hello, welcome. So what's got me nervous about this is that pieces could exchange many different ways here. Well, if I take this, I don't have a tactic in my favor just yet. Um... Okay, so I think this is safe. I don't know. So I can build High Mino Castle against what they're doing. Um, I don't know whether... Well, actually, you're supposed to defend this only once they start attacking it in general. Um, not sure if that applies to, uh, variations where this bishop exchange occurs. But in general, it's a loss of time to protect this unnecessarily. Um. Oh. Oh, goodness. Yeah, I've... I'm trying to think of what pragmatic advice to offer. Um... If I can think of anything, I'll let you know. But, uh, it might be tricky. So this silver... It wants to go there and then here. If I drop a bishop, they bring the silver up. I push this pawn, they push this. I attack the silver, they attack this way. Um, hmm. Also, if I drop there, they might drop a bishop, um, which nullifies my entire plan there. Alright, we're gonna do this to defend this square in advance of stuff hanging. Uh, if I could push this, but it doesn't help. Mm. Nanafun. I'm 
amazing position versus a third down, but can't could find a good way to attack or even to defend. Hmm. Yeah, I don't know what it's like to get excellent positions in general. Um. So I'm not sure if I were in such a spot, how would I have handled such a thing? Um, all right, so they've... This is weird. If I move this up... Yep. Honesty is the best policy, they say. But what does that mean? Hmm. Yeah, I don't know what to do here. Go home. Hopefully that's not too stupid. Oh, hey look, I just let a bishop drop happen. Check that out. Um... I could defend against that, I guess. So I could push this pawn, drop a pawn here, eventually they'll do lance takes. I could push this, drop a bishop. No, this is defended. There's no trick there. Hmm. When I moved the silver, my next intention was to move it here. Um, even though that doesn't by itself do very much either. So silver's defended, and it threatens to attack here soon. It also is attacking the center of the board. And defending this point. Hmm... Yeah, 
and my impulse reaction is probably not completely wrong. So let's see where this ends up. I expect a bishop drop to defend this silver. Well, hang on. Okay, I didn't see that coming. Um. There might have been a better way to do this. This isn't terrible. Sampun. I'm trying to read out if I drop a bishop and then take the silver, what might happen? So there it is. I finally dropped my bishop. <laughs> Transport's got the good answers. All right, let the tactics flow. Strange. Okay, that rook's not promoting, though. Oh, this knight can take here. Probably should have paid a little more attention to that. Although, I am paying attention, so what am I talking about? Oh, gosh darn it. Oh, that ain't great. That ain't great. I just gave up a bishop.
I needed that bishop. This is going to be rough. Shouldn't have done that. It's too early to do that. That doesn't do anything either. Well, no, if I could get the bishop in hand, that's better. Um...
I don't know what happened there. Thanks for the game. Sorry, we're going to have a very brief intermission. I'll be right back. Yeah, that was a bit strange, or that was a bit different than how we expected that to go. From like a three or four minute deficit, um, somehow that worked out. I don't know how. Maybe a two minute deficit, I don't know, but pretty crazy. Let's go on and play another game. Possibly there was something IRL related there. I don't know. Good luck. All right, here we go. Playing something exciting against a player who's got six winning. Okay, this is not at all going how I expected. Um, interesting. Wait, now if I push that, they take this space. Alright, they do activate their bishop. They're playing every strategy at once. Uh, I've tried this. It For me, it doesn't work. The question is, can I refute it? All right. Here we go. You wanted this. We're going to see where it goes. I've got to look at this person's game record. They've won six games in a row, so they must be doing something right. Um, but this is an interesting position, to say the least. Uh, like, okay. I feel like we're having a conversation here. Um, one where we're talking about five different subjects at once. Yeah, so I want to activate my silver with gain of time. 
a bishop exchange here would smash their castle. So I just want, if I were to do this exchange, I'd want some useful follow-up move. Um, plus, I'm afraid if I initiate it, a lot of bad stuff could happen. Um, all right, so... Then, now that they've dropped their bishop, which I think is dropped too early here, um, I can defend this point. <laughs> okay. I don't understand. Oh. Well. Sure. So, if they drop a pawn here, and then promote it, I could take that. Um, this I missed. This is the point. Um, this is what our opponent's been banking on. Nanafun. Our opponent's been playing extremely aggressively this game. I can just take that. I've defended my gold general. Um. They have another pawn to drop. All right, so their rook breaks in. That's a mess. Okay, so we allow the rook to promote. Um, or maybe we don't. What a mad position. Okay, we're going to break up this fortress directly, I guess. I will jump the knight in soon, but actually maybe this is unnecessary. If they do this exchange and then my knight hops in, I didn't need this pawn exchange first. Um, this pawn exchange is helpful if I drop another pawn. But actually, they don't have to take this pawn, do they? Well, they do take it. Um, Go food. All right, we'll promote a bishop. So this rook hasn't promoted yet. Oh, I only have one pawn left. I was thinking about how many pawns can I sacrifice, and the answer to that here would be one, because I only have a pawn. Alright, let's push here. Their king is immediately in the center of the board. It's a soft target, 
so as long as I get anything aiming at it, this is going to go well. Yeah, I think transport is correct. They're trying to, like, overwhelm me by playing a lot of aggressive moves. And sometimes that. I feel overwhelmed in such a situation, but... As a strategy, that might not be the soundest. Okay, so I defend my knight. Threaten a pawn drop right in front of their gold. Threaten to take this pawn and move over next to this gold. Sure, I guess this is allowing them to, if they want to, they can exchange a silver for a knight. Um, they already have this pawn here, so they can't drop a pawn right in front of my rook. So... Okay, they wanted this exchange for some reason, but... Oh, okay, well this is the reason. This is amazing. Alright. We hit the dragon, defend the lance, threaten to take here, which threatens to take this lance, and threatens to take here, threatens all this, and like, everything is threatened. Um... I want to be very careful about timing this, I guess. Um, maybe this is a terrible move. On account of it allowing them a pawn drop here in the future if I take that. Okay... Hmm. Well, I think the Time tactics support a gold drop here. They have a three general castle, so that's why I'm not doing the same thing they're doing. I'm going to take a moment here and defend before doing something outlandishly crazy. So this silver counters the knight. Also, this gold is attacking their silver. Um, let's see how this exchange is forced. And now I have a rook in hand, in a position where a rook would be a fantastic attacking piece. Um, also I'm threatening to take this, after which the knight will be hanging and everything else is hanging. I guess the downside of this is that this gold is hanging right now. I have both bishops, so as long as I don't give back a bishop I can open up this this way. Maybe a rook drop would have been smarter. What am I afraid of? Okay, that's a move. Um, it's a good move. Um, assuming they don't get mated, which might be assuming a bit much.
I have a gold general in hand. I'm threatening to take this. Okay. Ah, that does... That's at least an attempt to defend. Um, does it defend? I'm not sure. Well, no, it doesn't defend. Or it's inadequate in multiple ways. Um... So if I take this silver and then drop a bishop here, or move my bishop here, then I've given them another rook. All right, here goes nothing. Everything's hanging. Literally everything. Except the silver. But it's fine. Maybe. I hope. I guess they could defend with a rook along this rank. Um, but my by my count, they are out of generals. They don't have any gold or silver to defend a king in a position where they need a gold or a silver to defend. Um. So what do you do if you have no gold and no silver? I'm not thinking clearly enough. Thanks for the game. Alright, let's play one more. Alright, have a... Uh... Oh, you said never mind, you're back. Alright, cool. Thanks. Yeah, that was an adventure, wasn't it? Good luck. Subway Rook is their uh, most successful strategy. I wonder what we're going to see this game. Doesn't look like Subway Rook. Going to be honest. Mm -hmm. Hmm. Hmm. Okay, we're going to play this anyway. Interesting.
Okay, so my first objective is get out of the opening alive, and I seem to be doing that. Um... They want to push this edge pawn twice. I think I'm up for that right now. Um, hmm. Okay, we're going to put the king one over. I still haven't decided whether or not we're going to play bear in the hole. We'll find out. All right, let's do it. Our opponent attacks this side of the board, so we're just going to build uh, the world's best castle. And best is quite subjective, but one could say that this castle is quite strong. So... Um... Okay, let's exchange here. That's amazing. Why that? I don't get it. I was debating, do I push this or not? Um, a pawn up and then silver up. Actually, no, that's highly risky to do uh, on account of them promoting their rooks, so let's not do that. Um, yeah, without a pawn in hand, it's difficult for me to start an attack. Nanafun. So they might promote here, but I could drop a bishop and take this next. Um, so if they promote here, I gain a turn. If they don't promote, I can go on some escapade trying to trap this bishop. But So I've gained one turn from this little exchange. I don't know whether... It, I assume it's better for my pawn to be here than there, but... It is what it is now.
They're not seriously going to sacrifice this, right? That would be just mad. Of course they exchange. Yeah. You got a point. Giving up a pawn and playing this castle confines me to an extremely passive position. Um, so I hope we're happy with it. Because we probably won't be. Um... Yeah, I mean, what do I do with the tempo? Not a lot. All right, let's pretend this isn't a terrible move. We just pretend hard enough, maybe it'll become the truth. Um, Alright, let's do something productive. So we promote. While while Rome burns, we got a pawn and a horse. And they have a castle. So Oh god. Um Gofun. That's all right. So nothing defends this point, though. Probably should have looked for this. Thankfully, it's not decisive. Um. Oh, the rook can actually defend this. I didn't see that. I looked. I just completely missed it. All right, fine. So we have to create an escape route for the horse. Otherwise we lose it for a pawn. I think now they com are compelled to take my pawn, otherwise I get a second pawn in hand. Although, we saw how effectively I used one pawn, so why should I- why should they think I'd use the second one any better? Um... Okay, let's activate my rook. All right, so I'm actually threatening to exchange rooks here as well as threatening to offer my rook this way and that way and every which way. I think the rook exchange is perhaps my most potent threat here. Um, wow. Okay. Sure, so we'll offer this. Uh, at some point they got to bring their horse back to defend this, and they might do that immediately. Um, either before or after this exchange, which they shouldn't, 
do, but if they don't do this, I take a knight and a lance and maybe attack something somehow. Alright, so I've got a rook in hand. We're feeling better now. We're walking away from the cliff, the edge of the cliff, and now we're somewhere else. Uh, wow. Okay, this is hanging, so we'll take it. Uh, also, it's a useful square for me to drop pieces on, so they want to control the square. Also, the silver's hanging, but it can take here, but then it's trapped. Nothing's defending this other than this king. So if I drop a rook somewhere, like here, okay. Um, um, I'm not going to take that. So knight drop here is threatened. They defend against that. Um... Oh, right, they're hitting this, too. Um, this is dangerous because I'm giving them a night. Okay, so, yeah, this would be the best square for a knight, but this is not a terrible one. Their bishop has difficulty keeping control of that square, so, okay, we've removed the thing that's going to take gold away from my castle. So... Jeez... What a mess. Nifun Sanjibio. Okay, I'm not comfortable with this bishop sticking around here. Well, the bishops are effective long range pieces, so. Yeah, for multiple reasons, I shouldn't have done what I did. For one reason, they shouldn't have done this. Yeah, so that just made the bishop a target for a turn. Um, so now, well, they have a pawn in hand. They can deal with my nonsense. Um, Nifun.
I might want to defend this squirt. Well, no, it's hopeless. Um, my king's gonna have to run. My king in the corner. They've got three, four attackers. Plus, well, the knight wants to attack, but it can't, actually. But there's a good chance my king might run this game, despite having played Anaguma Castle. They've just piled everything on the edge. Um, well, screw this. All right. Um... If I take, take... I, I don't know how to read this. I really don't know how to read this. Um... No, Lance first. Hmm. Mm, I needed to take this pawn, despite my lance being dead. Yeah, this is what happens when I don't take that pawn. Um, this is what I mentioned about I might need to run. So, like, while most of my ideas here were pretty terrible, uh, I had one good idea, which is running. Is it going to save me? No. I have no generals next to my king. That's alarming. Um, I have to attack, because defense is not going to hold. There's no defense that's even close to holding here. So I'm going to be that guy on Shogi Wars who does this. Unfortunately. Thanks for the game. Uh, goodness. <laughs> the I missed subway, subway rook, rook drop. Yeah. Yeah. So, um... There are, are things to study in all of these games, particularly the last two. I think we've got a lot that we need to learn from these. So, uh, yeah, we are gradually, uh, inoxorably moving toward Wandan. It's going to take an eternity, but, you know, the journey along the way is kind of interesting. Also, I don't put a whole bunch of stock inside this uh, rating system. So, you know, I could just, like, user script this somehow and just make it say Don instead of Q. But um, for it to be official, they'd have to be the ones putting something like that. Uh, my point is that, like, whatever this says here, we're still an amateur player. So we want to learn something from every game.
and hopefully we can continue to do that. I'll be doing some game study soon. Hope we enjoyed these games.